Yeah, I'd advise people all day long that we're happy with the Pearson Parlour. How you doing? Um, I'm Chris Burns here and this is my wife Sarah. We're here on what is now known as what was Lisbeg Farms and still known as now as Lisbeg Dairies. Yeah, so Lisbeg was a predominantly a, a beef, sheep and a tillage farm for, for I suppose as long as my generation going through it and before it as well. We were finishing 50, we had 1,500 breeding yews and we were finishing 15 or 1,800 head of beef a year. And then in, I said November 21, we kind of got busy starting to look into the dairy and, and, and look at it again. Quite, uh, you know, we get busy at it uh, in a way. So yeah, we started researching it and kind of going around and talking to people and then started looking at parlours and questioning it and things like that. And we're now nine months into milking at this stage and uh, yeah, a big, a big change from operation here. So we're running an 80 point Pearson parlour, rotary parlour. 25th of April, 22, we dug the first bucket of clay on the site here. And on the 25th of January, 23 this year, we milked the first cow here on the rotary. There was a lot of work to be done. We built two cubicle sheds and this parlour, all greenfield site. We built a lot of roads, drinking troughs, done receding, everything like that. And then built all here and kept farming on the same year as well. So we, there was heifers bought, there was, we finished our beef and we done, we, we had our yews, lambed our yews in, in January of 20, or March of 22 and Joe finished those all during the year so yeah it was a pretty hectic year but look it all came together and you know working with Pearsons it's, it's they really worked with us there to keep going and, and get everyone together and we had we even went down to schedules and production meetings or progress meetings with all our different guys here in sight and we just kept kept everything moving along but Pearson's then working with them and, and design, you know, and, and drawings and things of like that and those like there's ducts and things of like that, like each side of the parlour there's no room anymore for anything else underneath it, there's so many ducts and things of like that, but that was all drawn out by the guys and James O'Callaghan as well, the guy that done our drawing and that actually is James that introduced me to to, to, to David Pearson and I got it, gave me his mobile number and that was where the, the, the relationship if you want to say it started. Machine runs there, you know, seven days a week and twice a day and yeah, it's 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 working well.